What is going on guys? I am back with another Minecraft tutorial and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to build a fire truck. The space you're going to be needing for the fire truck should be from left to right 6 blocks and from front to back 15. Keep in mind, the fire truck itself is going to be within that shape. The reason why we have it six blocks wide is because there are some blocks that actually overhang over the edge a little bit. So we have to make sure to add an extra block for that, which I'll go ahead and show you right now. Alright, so as you can see, when I look at it from the front, the main fire truck itself is actually just four blocks wide. But the reason why I have the plot size as six blocks wide is because we have some little blocks here that just overhang an extra block on each side. So we have to make sure we have enough room for that. It's similar with the front, a few blocks overhanging, as well as the back, some blocks down here. So if you really actually want to know, the fire truck itself is basically four blocks wide and 13 blocks long. But in order to have those little extra blocks, we have the plot size, which is 6 blocks wide and 15 blocks long. So I'd recommend having a space big enough for that. So you're going to need some black concrete, stone buttons, red concrete, quartz slabs, quartz stairs, blocks of quartz, oak signs, ladders, smooth stone slabs, oak buttons, levers, black stained glass panes, black stained glass, blue concrete, blocks of redstone, item frames, and iron bars. I almost forgot you're also going to need some sea lanterns. So you can start with your black concrete and you can look at the plot size. I'll just start here at the front right hand corner and you can count towards the back three blocks. One, two, three. Now go over to the left and place one, skip over two and place another one. Okay, now you could go behind this and skip towards the back seven blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So now on the eighth and ninth block, you want to place two more blocks of black concrete. Same with this side. Now you could switch to your quartz slabs. And you could go at the top edge of all of these blocks and fill in all of the space around them. So you're going to have a total of eight back here then all of the space in between the sides and then an extra row of four here at the front fill in the side in between the tires over here and then you could go ahead and fill in all of the space in the middle so this is what we're going to be building off of so we're going to start bringing everything up but first let's add our stone buttons because these are going to be the tires okay now let's start bringing up all of the other layers as you can see over there. And once again, this is the front side. It should just have a row of four. And then the back side it should have two rows of four. Okay, so you can now switch to your red concrete and you can place four blocks here at the front. Then you could go to either side. It doesn't matter because it's going to be the same on each side. And we'll go ahead and switch to our quartz stair. We'll place one upside down above that tire. Then back to your red concrete, you could place two like that, and then one extra one towards the back one. Now, you could switch to your quartz stairs and place two upward, and then some slabs on top of that. Then back to your red concrete, place two, then place one, two, three, four, five, and then one more is there, so you're just right behind this back tire. Then two more upside down quartz stairs above these tires and then two full blocks of quartz to fill in that empty space so it looks like this and now before we do the back let's go over to this side and do the same thing so an upside down stair two blocks of red concrete and one on top two more blocks of quartz stairs and then two slabs two blocks of red concrete then one two three four five one down there upside down quartz stairs above the tires then two full blocks of quartz and now let's head to the back you can switch to your quartz stairs stack two on each side and then 
four blocks of quartz in the middle. Okay, now let's go to this space right here in the middle, more towards the front, and you could place four blocks of quartz to fill that in. Then you could switch to your quartz slabs, and for this back section here, you could add just a layer of quartz slabs. All right, and then you can fill in all of that space in the middle like that. All right, it's all looking pretty good so far. We almost got it all done, actually. It's not too big of a build. Now, let's actually start grabbing some other blocks. We'll get rid of these stone buttons. You could grab black stained glass. I don't think we're going to need the red concrete anymore, so you could get rid of that and grab some of the panes. And then you could grab a lever, get rid of the black concrete. And then we'll grab the oak buttons. We'll switch out. We still need the quartz slabs, so we'll switch out the stair. And we'll leave it at that for now. You can switch to your full blocks of glass. And place three on this side and on that side. And then fill in the extra two spaces there in the middle. Have a black stained glass pane on each side. And then a lever right underneath that glass pane on that block of red concrete and then on top of all of this well we could add some chairs like some seats on the inside if you want to so we'll add an extra two blocks of quartz there and should we bring it out yeah and then we'll add another four there and then we'll have we could grab our quartz stairs again we'll have two like that so you could actually have some chairs in here then you can have an item frame and maybe a disc to act as a steering wheel. So I didn't originally do this, but I guess we'll go ahead and do it. So you could grab any steering wheel or any disc you want. <laughs> and then uh, let's have an item frame. I'm not sure where you live in the world, but our steering wheel is on the left. <laughs> and then a disc right there. So I guess that's good. Okay. And then you can switch to the quartz slabs again, grab the oak buttons, and then switch to the quartz slabs. And starting right here on this red concrete, you could just add a layer of slabs on top of this. All right, there we go. And we'll go ahead and add some ladders here at the front just to get it out of the way. Is that right? It looks a little small. Yeah, we're good. Okay, and then over here, we'll have two ladders, two ladders here, and two ladders here. We'll do the same on the back. Oh, wait, right here we have to add some as well, and then the same on this side. All right, and then you could grab some oak buttons and place them on the full blocks of quartz on each side. So that's all good. And then you could grab your item frames and place four here at the front. And then you could grab blue concrete and your blocks of redstone. And you could just have one blue concrete there, then redstone, then blue concrete and redstone. Okay. Then you could grab your oak signs. And we're just going to wrap these all the way around along this, these like uh, quart slabs that we have here. So all the way around. So this kind of acts as the chrome bumpers that are normally on fire trucks that are all the way around. In this case, since we don't actually have chrome in Minecraft, we have to use these oak signs. Unless you have like a cool texture pack that I think there are some signs that are kind of like gray. So you could use that. I would recommend using those. Okay, then let's have an item frame here and here. And then you could grab your sea lantern and place that inside the item frame. So those are kind of like the headlights. Now let's go to the back and do the tail lights. So an item frame in each corner. And then we're gonna have a block of redstone within that. Okay, and now I believe the last thing that we just have left to do is the ladder that's gonna be on top of the truck. But this is what it's looking like so far. So yeah, now let's go ahead and do that ladder at the top. So let's just bring all of this up. We just need the stone slabs and the iron bars. I believe we used everything. So yeah, this is the last thing. Make sure to have your smooth stone slabs. You could basically use whatever you want. It's all up to you. 
but we're gonna place we're gonna leave one here at the back and then we're gonna place oh we have to actually delete this uh section of slabs there and this is gonna be replaced with stone slabs like that so three like that leaving one block on the edge at the back here and on the sides then add an extra two layers of stone slabs here at the back and then kind of just like bring this out so it's like corner to corner like that with two more slabs and then you can switch to your iron bars and completely fill all of the rest of this in until you're kind of like half a block overhanging at the front and there we go just like that and now i believe we are done with the fire truck so that's going to be it for this tutorial on how to build a fire truck. If it helped you, be sure to please leave a like, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.